Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So, Instagram made me buy it. Yes, it did. Instagram's made me buy a lot of stuff. Okay, so we have the Fora. Probably not pronouncing that right. This is a soft matte long wear liquid foundation. It is a medium to full coverage foundation. It's supposed to oil control. It's one standard fluid ounce. You're supposed to start in the middle of your face with one pump and work your way out. If you need a full coverage, then you go up to two pumps. I started out with two pumps because I didn't read directions well. I never do. And I will say I didn't start at the end, the part middle of my face and work out. I just kind of worked my way like I always do down my, my neck, etc. And it went on really nice. I will say that it, um, so that part of the claims has, has definitely held up. Now I'm not sure how long they expect the foundation to work because I didn't see if this is supposed to be an all day, 24 hour foundation, blah, blah, blah. So I'm not sure about those claims, but it does feel lightweight. It went on really nice. I feel like I have a suntan on because the color that I got is 105 sand. And you know, I'm not opposed to uh, a suntan in winter. This is made in China. So you're supposed to shake it first. I didn't shake it first, so I don't know if that's why the color's a little bit darker than I had expected, but I kind of like a little suntan. Okay, so we are gonna put the Instagram foundation to an all day wear test, see how this baby does. Um, yeah, I, as far as setting up on the face, it did fine. Everything kind of blended really, really nice. So I've got high hopes. Okay, here we go. Okay, good morning. We are doing Instagram made me buy it again. This is Fora? Heck, I don't know. People think they're so creative with some of their spellings. Like my name. <laughs> Starting out with the Scandinavian makeup set, uh, priming spray. Looks darker than my skin. Ooh, but I like it. This says, always shake before use. Pump foundation on the back of your hand. Start with one pump for medium coverage and build to full coverage with a second pump. Pick up the foundation with your brush. Start in the center of your face, working outward. Blend onto the skin using short downward strokes. And you are to blend coverage. Uh, this is a coverage foundation, naturally flawless, oil controlling, and is a lightweight feel. It's one standard fluid ounce. It's made in PRC. It's a soft matte, long wearing foundation. Okay, so basically I did do two pumps that look like it took care of my face and neck. I like that it gave me a little suntan. Okay, so we're just gonna keep going with the rest of my makeup and we'll see how this does. I like that I have a suntan today. Okay, good evening. It's been about 12 hours that I've had this foundation on and so we are going to do the 12 hour foundation test. Not test, it's already happened. Review. We're doing the 12 hour foundation review. Okay, we are up front. Personal. Whoops, close. I'm dropping stuff. And yeah, so overall, I've got some oils that obviously are showing through. I mean, I look like Rudolph the Greasy Nose Reindeer. And let's see, forehead looks. All right, I think it's just the nose is showing a lot of shine and kind of like this foundation is sitting on top of the nose, not in like on the, in the skin. It's kind of pushing up or the oils have pushed it up. Not mad about this foundation either. 
So like I said, I'm not mad about this foundation. I think it, it does pretty good. It is too dark for my skin. So I, I kind of was joking this morning about having a suntan. Ooh, and I do love having a suntan. But if I was to go out, I didn't have time during the work day to pat the foundation or pull the oils off and I'm working, you know, an event after hours, I, it's still holding in place, even if it's sitting a little bit up. So I'm going to look forward to testing this some more because again, I'm, I'm kind of excited about it in all honesty. I don't have the breaking apart like I normally do on the foundations where it's just like, gone or I'm missing my nose. I mean, it's still holding in there. My chin doesn't look bad after all. So not exactly what I was expecting out of after 12 hours. Um, everything else that seems that calls to me on Instagram has been a complete fail. So I actually thought this foundation was going to be a complete fail. It's not. So I'm really looking forward to continuing to use this. Um, and maybe with some different primers, etc., because it's holding up really well after 12 hours, I think. I'd like to know what you kind of think, since most of you have watched several of my foundation reviews. Do you think it's holding up better? Is it just me, wishful thinking? I think it has, though, which is absolutely exciting. All right, y'all. I look forward to hearing your questions, thoughts, etc., below. And I want to know if anyone else has used this foundation because, again, it's kind of exciting. Kind of exciting. I want to thank you so much today for watching the video on the Foria foundation. I really enjoyed putting this baby to an all-day wear test to see how an Instagram foundation worked. And, yeah, if you've used this foundation, I'd really like to know what you've said, what your thoughts are, how has it performed for you, etc. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I want to know. Oh, last bit, I did use the Scandinavia Primer Spray to start out with and the Scandinavia Setting Spray. So, just as a little side note there, that's what I use to uh, prime and set.